Hello again YouTube, it's me again from Forever Droning On. Excuse my uniform, I'm on my way to work. I've stopped at the field to grab a quick bit of flying. Today we're looking at orbit modes. These are great, it's, it's a great mode. It um, doesn't use the camera, apart from to record what you shoot. It uses the GPS for location on this one, unlike the other modes we've used, like the track modes we've used. Right, so how does it work? Let's back off and have a look. Okay, now to use orbit mode, click on the top right, top left hand corner of your screen on FVP and click orbit. And you'll see straight away that the map and the camera view have changed, changed place. You can swap them back if you need to. So zoom in on the subject you want to shoot. Now I'm going to shoot the, uh, the cricket pitch that I'm stood on, so I will be in the frame quite a bit with this. So you just click on that and you get a new icon, which is the um, orbit icon. Now if we zoom out a wee bit, you can see the copter there. Now the, the, what I've found with this, when you click on the, the blue icon, it brings up your parameters and you can still see through that. It's slightly translucent. So you set your radius, I put the cop to where I want it to be first and then I adjust the, the radius so that the yellow line cuts through the red copter, like that. Why is it? There we go. Um, speed, altitude, I've got that set to 101 foot, I'll leave that there, I think that's fine. Speed, that's done in degrees per second, but it also tells you how long it's going to take to do a full orbit. I set that to a minute 30, which is quite long, but of course it's easier to speed things up from the um, when you in post in, in your video editor. Entry point, in this case I'm going to set that to enter at the south, so it will fly off to the south of me and start from there. You may want to do it differently, um, obviously depending what you're doing, if your subject is due north of you, you may want to film the approach to the, the orbit, so you set it to enter at a northern part of the circle. Heading mode, centre. That's where is your camera going to look. Now you can change that to look um, outwards, so it'll look away from the centre of the circle. User control, in other words, you can drive it yourself along the circle backwards or indeed along the circle forwards. In this case, I'm going to use centre. Direction speaks for itself, anti-clockwise or clockwise. That's up to you to decide. Uh, subject height six foot, but I'm five foot eight, so I've set it for six foot. That's near enough, really, isn't it? Okay, so we're ready to go. It's recording, and we press start. The first thing they do, the, the copter will climb up to 101 foot, and then it will fly off to the start point, and as it's doing now, and when it gets to the start point, which is just there, it'll turn and look at the cricket pitch which we can see in the camera view. By bringing the camera view up to full screen, and popping the map back in the corner, simply by clicking on the map. Now there we go, and it'll trundle around like that, and it'll do that all day, all day long, until the battery goes flat, of course. And it's quite happy doing that, and it's recording um, everything it can see, as long as you press the record button. And um, obviously this could be any subject that you've got permission to fly around. Um, any distance really. Now the thing I've discovered, if you imagine I'm stood or your subject is stood at the center of a bicycle wheel and the copter is sitting on one of the spokes as the bicycle wheel rotates. By moving the aileron control I can stop that from, from rotating. In fact I can make the bicycle wheel rotate the other way. So I can go back to where we've just come, and I'm only using the aileron, the right hand stick pushing it left or right. In this case I'm pushing it left to override the autopilot command and push the copter to the right, to the left. It's flying to my right, the copter's left. However, if I let go of the stick, it stops doing that and goes back to what it was doing, carrying on flying in a anti-clockwise direction. I can indeed, if that's getting a bit boring, I can push the aileron 
control to the right and make the copter increase speed so I can increase or decrease the rotation speed as I like and again when I let go it slows back down to the speed that I set when I set the parameters now if I use the elevator control and move it and pull it to, down towards me the copter starts to reverse and it's still rotating but it's just sliding down the spoke if you like it's sliding away from the hub towards the rim of the, the wheel and now it's still going to it's flying at a faster speed so the rotation will still be a minute and a half but I still have the ability to go the other way if I want to and it'll whiz along quite happily going in the opposite direction and when I let go it goes back to doing what it was doing the difference is I've found with using the elevator if I push the elevator forward that's the right hand stick forward it flies closer to me or closer it slides down the spoke towards the hub let go and it carries on flying as it was still looking in the right direction the difference is when I let go of the stick it stays where I've put it unlike the using the aileron control to adjust the speed of the rotation when I move the thing up or closer or further away it stays where I put it and continues to rotate at the correct speed in the same place so there you go I'll do it again I can move it away I can move it away pretty much as far as I like and it's, it's whizzing out now it's way outside where the original um, parameters were and when I let go of the stick it stays on that track and keeps rotating and keeps looking at me it's doing exactly as it was told so that's elevator and aileron control also the same thing happens with altitude if I put the throttle stick forward and make the cop to climb it will climb up to whatever height I like but do be careful not to do what I've just done and whack the rudder across oh it's picking up an obstacle that'll be the Sun I hope it doesn't try and fly up over the Sun there we are now again when I let go of the, the altitude it stays at the altitude I've set and is flying round and round and still looking at the subject much the same as with the elevator where I put it it stays so far the only one that returns to the parameters I set originally is the ailerons so I can't adjust the speed of the rotation whilst the copter's in the air now what I hear you ask go on ask does the rudder do well I'm glad you asked the rudder just changes where the camera is pointing and I've also found that when you do that that's another one this stays where you put it and I've just turned the camera through 90 degrees and it's now looking where it's going well that was a strange thing that was very strange it just saw my own shadow go over me which is a bit weird now that's flying around and it's now flying along looking exactly where it's going as you can see from the video I can spin it round again have a look where it's been so now it's flying backwards and it's picking up on the Sun as an obstacle again it really doesn't like the Sun <laughs> I can actually see the copter dancing around up there because it, it thinks the Sun is an obstacle apparently this is um, a common thing with the Mavic I suppose the only way to the easiest way to cure it would be to turn off the obstacle sensing and at that height it wouldn't matter anyway back to what we're talking about if I turn through another 90 degrees the copter is now looking out of the circle away it's still orbiting it's still doing everything we told it but at a different height at the same speed and now it's looking away and looking out so you would do that if you were I don't know if you wanted to um, have a look around the area where you were flying and, you know, and generally look around at uh, or perhaps you were in a, a lovely bay and you wanted to film the, the, the seaside that was curved around you you could do it like that that would work a treat so basically that's how it works and I do hope this damn thing's in focus so basically that's how it works that's orbit mode so let's turn the copter back to look back at me or back at our subject 
which in this case of course is me point the camera back down there we go now at any point you can stop the orbit by pressing the red square stop button on the left hand side or pressing return to home or indeed switching in and out of sport mode as soon as you switch into sport mode it will stop and stay where it is until you give it a command what happens when it goes out of range I don't know I've never tried the thing's got a four mile range and I'm certainly not going to fly that far away I'm not brave enough um, so there we are I hope you've enjoyed this as always I would say this isn't me telling you how to do it this is me telling you how I do it you do it how you want take something from this if you need to and please comment and tell me what you found wrong and what I've done right and so on and so forth and of course click that little subscribe button down there that would be really nice if you did that okay that's enough from me for now so I will wish you all farewell and um, hopefully you'll come back again and watch the forever droning on rubbish channel call it what you will it's just a bit of fun on my part really I'm enjoying what I do I do it for me as much as anybody or well, more than anybody I just do it for me it's as simple as that it's my channel I'll do whatever I like <laughs> thank you very much bye bye all <laughs>